The story of the late Senator Gigi Karaoke is perhaps a portrait of the country's history, a life relieved at this memorial service attended by friends, family and colleagues of the late Senator, a man who left a mark in the lives he touched and a legacy celebrated by those he left behind. We had all kinds of people coming home, famous, rich, and some not so famous and not so rich. But the one thing that Dad made sure we always did was to serve everybody. And depending on his mood, he also made us sing and do skits for them. He always taught us to be inquisitive and to follow other, not to follow others aimlessly. Kama kordo, like he always said. The late senator was remembered as having played a key role in the development of Laikipia, from infrastructure such as roads, schools and medical facilities to settling the landless. He was a great man. He was generous. Some of the things he did struck me. He had what I would call consistency, consistency and persistence of purpose. When he meant to do something, he never left, took his eye from that. His quest for knowledge, it is said, was insatiable. Just two years ago, he added another feather to his cape, graduating with a doctorate in international relations from the University of Nairobi's Institute of Diplomacy and International Studies. The stylish small man is perhaps a clear repository of Kenya's history. His story traverses four regimes. Despite his age, Gigi was on time. Gigi was the last to leave Senate, which so many, so many, uh, so many of us couldn't even sit for one hour, young as we are. People keep asking, why do you refer to him as Senator number one? There is no such title in Senate, there isn't. But what else could we call Senator Gigi Kariuki? He was always in the house when he was in Nairobi. He was very articulate in his debates. And those of us that know Gigi knew he could be a little cynical about issues. And he looked at things from a very different perspective from everybody else who spoke. He was one of the longest serving members of parliament, having served in the first ever parliament in 1963. At the height of his might, he was a cardinal figure in the early days of the Moi presidency, straddling the political space like the proverbial colossus. He has been in the thick of Kenya's politics in the early years as a Kanu youth winger. Reflections of his time in politics that he put down in an autobiography published in 2001, Illusions of Power. The late Senator Gigi Karaoke was known as the rise and fall, fall and rise kind of politician, but who, with every fall, engineered his rise from the ashes like the proverbial phoenix, a man of all seasons whose time passed on the 30th of June and who will be laid to rest at his home in Rumuruti Friday. Shila Sendeo, NTV, Nairobi.